All right, we've got our Cobra 3 that we're gonna be setting up. So this is pulled just straight out of the box, just like this. Got our ACE unit right here, and then everything that came with it. This is everything that we are gonna be putting together. We're just using the tools that came with it, and let's get into it. First off, for the print head cable here, for the print head, for the touch screen, print wiper. Okay, first off, we're gonna install the print head. So we're gonna pull that off, grab our screws for the print head, grab one of our little tools that they provide for us here. You don't need anything extra, they provide everything for you. So we're gonna make sure we've got it right side up and move this to where we can work on it. And we're just gonna line up our four screws right here with where it's gonna go right there. Now you're gonna see this fits nice and snug and you've got these little gray holes in here that are gonna show you just exactly where it lines up. Make sure that you've got them nice and snug once you get everything settled in there. You wanna make sure that you don't have any kind of wobble once you get everything tightened down. Next, we are gonna move on to the screen. That's just gonna go right down here. So you can see we've got a little hole right there. That's gonna be where this goes in. And then just two screws right there and our connecting cable right there. So for touch screen, Next, we've got our cable holder, which is just gonna go right in here. And if you are just doing single, you can put this right in here and then directly in there. And that is for single. We're gonna be setting it up with the ACE unit though, so Next up, we are gonna go to our purge wiper, which is this guy right here. Right back here, you can see this little hole, and there's these little screw things that are gonna just pop right into place here. And it'll even just stay like that for a second, but you want to get this screwed in as quick as possible. We're gonna use number four for print wiper here, and we're gonna drop down an Allen key size. All right, we've got two different screws. The smaller threaded one is gonna go up top. Wider thread is gonna go in at the bottom. So we're gonna align these holes in here again. As always, make sure that these are nice and snug. Now we need to install the print head cable. So we're gonna have this part, which is a USB-C. We've got the print head cable right there. And this is going to clip on this part right there. And then this part is going to plug in right here. And we're gonna screw that into place. Now you shouldn't get any resistance putting this in, so if you do, just kind of back it up a little bit, get it back in the right way. I got the tiny little Allen key here. It's gonna fit this little guy. We've got one on each side. Got the x-axis motor cable is going to connect just right in here that'll clip into place no resistance or anything like that super straightforward that should be everything for this part now we're going to install our ace pro 
which this is relatively straightforward, but let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got here. Our little connectors right there. This is where the PTFE tubing is gonna go, and this is where the power plug goes. So this is gonna be our cable that connects right in here and goes directly to the front of our machine. Now you've got the six prong here and you've got the four prong. The four prong is going to plug into the front of your Cobra and the six prong goes into the back of the Pro. So that's gonna clip in right here, just like that. Four, we'll plug in just like that. Easy peasy. And then you've got to run your tubing from here through this guy up to your print heads. It's not going to matter necessarily which one goes where because this doesn't really determine which one you're gonna be using. So let's go ahead and get those set up. All right, first thing you wanna do is pop off these little blue tubes and these little guys will actually come out a little bit. So if you grab some pliers, you can just pop these guys right off. And you wanna make sure that you do not lose or throw away these little blue clips because that is going to be what holds your tubing in place. So let's just run these all. Push it in until you don't feel any resistance. And then grab your little pliers here. Get a little bit of space in there and pop these glue blue guys back into place. Might be a little bit snug, but that's okay. We're going to put our power cable in here. We're not gonna plug it in yet, but just get it connected down here. You've got two power cables, they are exactly the same. One's for the printer, one's for this guy. All right. Now we're just gonna run these cables through here. And you wanna make sure that you don't have any tangles in your tubes. Go ahead and pull them through a little bit and then just make sure that we've got a nice clear path to each one of these. And you just pop it in place. You can hear a nice little click. And it won't pop out easily. So then we've got these little guys that are little cable connectors. And we wanna make sure that we get a few of these in for some good cable management. going to kind of bring this down here so we're going to clip all of these into place and keep you from having any kind of issues all right there we go that looks great love that so now this is completely connected to the ace unit which is connected back into the printer. Now we've got good movement here. Everything looks pretty level. And this is gonna help as everything's moving to keep everything nice and tidy. And then belts here should have a little bit of give to them, but not a whole lot. We got one here and one up here. This is gonna be your gantry. This controls both of these over here. And then we've got this guy right here. So that's gonna control where we go on the X axis. That seems nice and snug. Make sure that it's not too loose, not too tight. And we're gonna go ahead and plug this guy in as well. And 
turn it on. 